Jill. Always a pleasure. Here. Thank you. Um, Eric is somebody who, gosh, started as a chef. That's right. Became a food writer. Right. And now you're a cookbook author. That's right. Congratulations. Yeah, pretty good career. It's pretty good career. Yeah. Tell me about rotisserie chicken. What had you fascinated enough about it that you wanted to find recipes where people could take something already made and transform it into something wonderful? Well, what it really was is when I didn't feel like cooking, I do a lot of recipe developing, and I'm in the supermarket at 5.30, there wasn't any rotisserie chicken left. Yeah. So it dawned on me, a lot of people love rotisserie chicken. Yeah. So I thought, I'll create a book that would make them love it even more. Great. By, so here's your chicken, but here's, you know, 100 ways to turn it into something that's spectacular. So I have 100 recipes in here, Eric? 100 recipes and over 50 photos that show you how uh, each recipe should turn out. And you even teach me how to make my own rotisserie chicken as well, yeah, which yeah. I love. There are I mean, millions of people will buy it at the store, myself included, but um, on the weekend you might want to try it yourself. Yeah. So I came up with 10 different ways to flavor it, from red tide chicken to a Moroccan style that's got citrus and olive oil and cumin. Nice. There's a Spanish one, there's a traditional barbecue one. Well, because, yeah. I mean, at bottom line, chicken's usually pretty affordable, especially for families. Yeah. But again, I don't know if I want to have roasted chicken again. <laughs> yeah. So I love that you give me new ideas. Can yeah. we try some things here? I have to say, I'm very intrigued by these fritters over here. That's right, right up my alley. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, the batter for these fritters, yes. it's kind of like a waffle batter. Okay. Uh, and if you think about waffles and chicken, they go to well. They do go well together, yeah, but right? Instead of putting it in a waffle iron, okay. I formed it into small ball and in small balls and deep fried it quickly. And we served it with a chili lime dip. Wow. Yeah, so it'd be really good with fresh corn when in season, but of course you mm. can use for frozen corn. Those are really oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a nice little spice Real, in there. And is this the dipping sauce? Yeah, it's a mayonnaise-based dip with uh, lime I juice. I better try that for all of you just to make sure yeah, that yeah. it's really good. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look good. What do you think? Wow! Good, eh? Delicious. Yeah, and mm. really, really easy. Yummy. Yeah. Tell me more. These mm. ones here, you were talking about five ingredient recipes? Yes, Well, yes. this is definitely one. They're canapes made with, uh, sounds fancy, canapes. Yes, but right. Mandarin orange, cranberry sauce, and brie. Wow. And just a tiny bit of uh, rotisserie chicken. Nice. Yeah, so easy, right? Jen and Brian are coming over. You didn't know that? Mm -hmm. Here's a, something you can whip up in about 20 minutes. And I love the flavor of the cranberry and the orange with the chicken. I mean, it's almost a little bit of the flavors that we love from the holiday season, right? From yeah, Thanksgiving or something. That's when I came up with that recipe, actually. I love it. Yeah, Great. fantastic. This looks like macaroni and cheese. Yeah, this is... I have to do this in honor of David, who is not here, but I know, I know. he would really want me to take at least I, three bites of this, yeah, Eric, lots of to make pressure. sure it's good for everybody. Well, this is called mac and cheese with chicken and peas. Okay. And if you ask the kids, they'll say, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So you've used rotisserie chicken in here. Right. So if you had Creamy a bit of rotisserie chicken cheese. that you bought on a Monday, you make right? an easy white sauce, put tons of cheese in there, as you can see. Yes. A bit of rotisserie chicken. And you sneak in some peas there that the kids won't see that give them a little extra vitamin C. Oh, that. Isn't that nice? Beautiful texture. I don't do it as well as David. No. Happy <laughs> dance, happy dance, happy dance. That's more like a happy shimmy. Um, Whoa, wow, that was good. That's good. Woo. Woo. Yeah, nice job. Um, that is delicious. Thank you. Mm, yeah. Creamy flavorful, yeah. super easy to prepare. And that's one of those meals where you could make it one night, but you have nice leftovers for another night, oh, yeah. too. This is so even better the next for day for feeding lunch. a family. Yeah. Did you do a chili with this, too, Eric? This is a rotisserie chicken chili with black beans. Wow. Again, it's uh, a few vegetables, so we'll them up, throw everything else in, tomatoes, the yes. beans, let it simmer 35 minutes. Wow. And it just smells great. Be great for Sunday too. watching football game. Yes. You, you do that, right? I do do that, actually. Oh, good. <laughs> Big Philadelphia Eagles fan, Eric. Come on now. Oh, sorry. I'm a Hawk fan, but that's okay. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. I'm sorry. I still like you. Okay. <laughs> we should have <laughs> ran it. Delicious. That is delicious. <laughs> We're still saying right. we should have ran it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so that's easy mm. to make. And I would have never thought to use rotisserie chicken in a chili recipe. Yeah. And this is a large batch recipe. Mm -hmm. So you can put it in your uh, two cup containers, put it in the freezer. You forgot Great. to make something for dinner, pop it in the microwave and it's ready. I'm born and raised in Southern California. Okay. I grew up eating avocados and yeah. I probably eat one a day. It's one of my favorite foods. Tell yeah. me about those avocado melts. Uh, again, another really, really easy recipe. Slice French bread. A bit of mayonnaise on the bottom, mm. some arugula or baby spinach yeah. for some earthy greens wow. there. Wow. And some big slices of avocado. Look at that. And chicken, and you can put either regular Monterey Jack, being mm -hmm. from California, or yes. the spicy. Yeah. I, I like the spicy. Pepper Jack. Yeah. yeah it's good. And then uh, add a little green salad, 
really nice lunch with Delicious. a glass of uh, I love it. California Chardonnay. I love it. Listen, this is $17.92. This is the only day that we're offering this at this advanced order price. There's 50 photos in here, over 100 recipes. Those chicken and fresh corn fritters with the chili lime dip, I have to tell you, worth the price of the book. They were awesome. Oh, and I'm always you. looking for a new appetizer because I do entertain a lot, yeah. but I entertain simply. You yep. know, it's just friends coming over. I want to try something yeah. new. There's tortilla soup with chicken, avocado, and cheese. How about great pasta salad recipes? Those are so easy for busy families. A whole section on sandwiches, wraps, and pizzas. Uh, beautiful photographs here. Um, even some, uh, what I love, I saw some Asian-inspired dishes. Yeah. Um, just really a great variety. You'll never look at that rotisserie chicken the same. Now you have a hundred new ways to change it up, serve it to your family, and even some new ways where you can make your own rotisserie chicken and spice up the flavor too. Eric, what a pleasure. Thank you, Jill. Thank you so much. Thanks for Excellent the book. book tonight. My pleasure. Um, stay on the line. It's F11888. The Great Rotisserie Chicken Cookbook is $17.92. All right. From chicken to smashed short rib burgers. How are you? Look who's here, Bobby Shea. Nice to see you. How Good are you? you? Good. Well, I gotta tell you, first of all, I want your phone calls. If you've had the opportunity to try Bobby Shea's short rib smashed burgers, they have taken QVC by storm. Yes, they are. They are customer top rated. They are completely flavorful. And this offer is really fantastic because you can get a dozen of the burgers for $59.